Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandon from Shore Fisherman UK. Today we have a video for you guys about how to get started fishing on a budget of just £200. The sort of items we're going to be including in this are rods, reels, tackle boxes, knives, pliers and all of those sort of things you need. What we're not going to be including is your sort of terminal tackle like your weights and your rigs. Um, I always think it's best to make your rigs rather than buy them. Uh, to make a rig is probably going to cost you about 20p, to buy one is going to cost you about £3. So always best to make your rigs if you can um, and it also means that you can make them while you're fishing. It saves a lot of time and a lot of money. Uh, like I say again, I'm using Bandicam, so what I'm going to do in a minute is I will transfer you to the laptop screen and we'll go on Ville's website and see what we can put together for a budget of 200 Right, so here we go guys. We are now on Ville's website and we're going to start off here just by looking for a fishing rod. Preferably between 12 and 14 foot is what most people like to use. I use between 14 and 15 shore fishing rods and we're going to refine the price on here today. Just price ascending. We're going to see the cheapest stuff first when it works. There we go. Ignore the Shakespeare stuff, I generally find that to be quite low quality. Um, I've never really used their stuff other than when I was much younger. The, here we go, the Sonics Vader XS Shore Rod would definitely be an option. My dad's had that rod. Uh, that's the 13 foot one, a good rod. But if we go down a little bit more, we will find slightly more money we can get a Vasily Oxygen which is a free piece now I would probably choose that over uh, many of the other rods just obviously it's a free piece so it's much easier to carry around uh, it's a lot easier to fit in the car so let's have a look at that let's see what it says in the description Right, so it's 14 foot in length. It can cast between three and out eight, three and eight ounce, uh, which would for me that would be ideal because I like to cast a six ounce lead with a whole squid on it. Three sections, hollow power tip, screw fit in real seat, sick KW guides, good bite detection, suited for clean and mixed ground fishing. Weighs 566 grams, so it's nice and light. And it's on sale, £17 off for £74.99. I feel like that's definitely a good option. Uh, supplied in a rod bag. And also, yeah, it's for, it's for mixed ground and for clean ground. So you could do your flatty fishing with this. Uh, you could do your bass fishing on the reef. Um, possibly even mackerel feather fishing. If you were to use the right size ledge, you'd probably get a good cast on that. So we're going to add this to our basket now. We're well, not add it to our basket. Sorry, we're going to chuck it in the wish list. For Celia, good rods. I, I I use them now. It's currently what I use. I don't use anything else. I had two for Celis. Um, one of them broke because me and my mate thought it would be an awesome idea to sit there and throw stones at our rods while we were on Seaford Beach. Certainly something I won't be doing again. So there you go, we've got our fishing rod added now. That's in the, in the wish list. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the reels. Um, multipliers are for much more uh, advanced anglers. They take a little while getting used to. They're not easy to use in the dark. You're gonna burn your thumb a lot when you first start out using them. Fixed spool reels are generally the, the rule of thumb as to what everyone will start off with when they start fishing. So let's go over there and see what they have. We're going to refine price ascending again, just so we see the cheapest stuff first. Let's say again, there is a sort of a minimum price you want to spend on anything really for fishing if you want it to last. Um, if you spend £19.99p on a rod, don't expect it to be a smooth, awesome, lovely feeling reel because it won't. I said rod there, but I meant reel. Still seems too cheap. Still too cheap. Uh, a lot of these are lure. Little spinning reels as well, and you don't, you can't bait cast with a spinning reel, not ideally. Let's 
So here we have the Sonic SKS 8000 surf reel. Now the pen surf blasters I use are a 7000 um, and I actually really like the amount of line that I can get on those. I think it's perfect. Give you lots of run if something takes lots of drag. Uh, you haven't necessarily got to like get extremely concerned that you just you, your fish is going to pull a line off on a on a on a very short sort of um, short reel. You're not going to get a lot of line on it, especially if you're using thirty pound line. This is thirty nine pounds ninety eight, and I've actually had this reel before. Um, I had two, and they lasted me about two years. I never cleaned them. That's my problem. I never cleaned them out. I, I possibly I've probably dunked them in water a couple of times as well. Um, but other than that, they were great reels, lasted a long time. And do you know what? They feel just about as smooth as the reels I'm using now, which are the Pen Surf Blasters. So I'd actually consider this for £40. That is an extremely good deal. And they're currently in stock as well. So that's something you're definitely going to be able to get your hands on straight away. We'll add that to the wish list. That's going to pair up really nice with the, um, with the Faselli 14-foot fishing rod that we've added as well. Let's put that in our wish list. That's done. There we go. So now we've got, I believe we've got, what have we got? Our rod and our reel combo for just under £110. And we, to be fair, we haven't gone extremely cheap. We've got some good gear that's going to last you a long time. It's going to be a really smooth experience with this rod and this reel. You're going to enjoy that. Uh, I tell you what, next, let's have a look at tackle boxes. I feel would be a good place to go next. Let's go up here and let's just type in tackle box. And let's see what we get. Oh, there we go, straight away. Uh, just the amount of pages here, I'm not gonna put price ascending because we'll be here all day going through stuff for like 75p. So I'm just gonna go relevance. I'll tell you what, actually, let's go best selling. Let's see what we get here. Oh, let's go back to relevance. Okay, right. Uh, let's have a look. What have we got? These boxes are great. A lot of people will use these boxes, but they are absolutely massive. And if you're walking around, they're not the most comfortable things. You can fit a lot of stuff in them. Um, I found when I had mine, there was just way too much room left over. I never actually completely filled it. And I did fill it once. And do you know what? I put so many leads in it. It was so unbelievably heavy. It was almost impossible to walk from the um, where the ice cream van parks at Seaford Beach, literally just straight down onto the beach. It was so heavy. Way too much. Do you know what? I would seriously recommend one of these. Um, these are more than big enough to fit two two reels in um, and in the top you've got the little two clips here that, that they come undone and you've got lots of little compartments you can put your hook speed swivels your bait elastic can go in there your rod tip lights uh, any little uh, terminal tackle bits you've got you want to stick in there they're all going to go in the clamp down it's actually fairly waterproof as well when i used to have mine i used to bring it home and just hose it off um, and that got the job done, no water got inside. You've got the compartment in the bottom, which is big as well. That's going to be great for putting your um, your reels and all your other stuff in. So we're going to add that to the wish list now too. So the next thing we are going to want to start looking at is going to be a knife. Um, preferably something bright. If you drop it on the beach, that means you can find it. Let's have a look and see what we got. So many to choose from. Um, I, I, I really wouldn't go getting anything seven inches or, or, or six. I think that's a bit too long. Something small and short is always ideal. What's that? So we've got here the Tronics Pro four-inch bait knife for $5.99, and it comes with a plastic sheath. Let's have a little look at the description. Let's see what it says. Fantastic value for money. Short knife for preparing bait. Four-inch stainless steel blade. Line cut and slot, which is just here, I assume. Uh, serrated back. I'm not sure what you'd use that for. Comfortable handle, comes with sheath, colour may vary, current stock is orange, uh, which is absolutely perfect actually because the brighter your knife is, the easier it is to find if you drop it on the beach somewhere. Um, you don't want to be spending money on a knife every time you go fishing. $5.99, we will add that to the wish list. Perfect. Just after that, guys, the next thing I'm going to look at would probably be a pair of pliers. Just 
I always think it's good to take some fishing with you. Um, I've always tried to use the little uh, de-hooking tools. I've always found pliers to be the easiest thing to use. Um, what you don't want to do if you go fishing is go putting your fingers anywhere near the mouth of something like a conga or a ray. Uh, lots of people have made that mistake before. I myself have. I, want, uh, I once went fishing with my dad on my inflatable rib out from Shoreham. We dropped anchor. My dad hooked into something massive, um, pulled up a big 10-pound undulate ray. Uh, didn't want to touch it, so he asked me to pick it up and bring it in the boat. I said to my dad, I said, how do I pick this thing up? He said, put your fingers in its mouth which I did, and it clamped down on both my fingers, and I was lucky to get them back in one piece. So always use pliers when de-hooking certain fish. Let's have a look and see what we got. Remember, we're on a budget, so we don't want to go spending £25 on a pair of pliers. That's too much. We want cheap and cheerful. And let's see when we find cheap and cheerful. Uh, they're £5, but they're a bit short. Really short. Maybe you split wing pliers. You bent. They look good. Spring assisted as well. Bent nose for gripping hooks, etc. Useful for one hooking fish and other general parts. Spring loaded, supplied with sheath. Abu Garcia. That'll do. 10.99. We will add that to the wish list. One other thing you can probably get from Veals, um, if you want to, would probably be some fishing line. Um, I'll talk to you about that quickly while we're searching for it. Um, with fishing line, you kind of got to choose between um, whether you want casting distance or whether or not you want to have um, some serious strength. I personally go for serious strength. Uh, I fish the reef a lot, so having 35 30 pound line for me is ideal really so i'm guessing for you guys it's going to be somewhere in the middle um of probably roughly about 20 pound line is going to be ideal for anything like seaford beach you're going to get away with a lot on the reef as well if you decide to fish the reef with 20 pound line you're not going to lose gear all the time um as with shock leaders i never use them so i'm not going to recommend them to anyone else either I did once try tapered shot leaders for a bit, just to get a little bit of extra casting distance, and it just kept snapping off. What's this? Eighteen pound. Do you know? Oh, twenty five pound. That's yellow line. Do you know what? Yellow doesn't matter. Or maybe it does. I don't actually know. There's a big argument. Well, championship. Winning nylon monofilament line, high tech, super soft, super soft and subtle, extremely high linear, not strength. Asian resistance, there's not strength enough times. Breaking strain is available, 15 to 18 pound, four ounce bulk spool. Okay, that's definitely going to be enough to get the 8,000 size reel done. Let's get that added. They'll do different variants of this line as well. You can probably get it in clear if you want that or any other colours. So we'll start talking about terminal tackle now, guys, which is stuff like your weights, um, your, your rigs and your bait, things like that. I, I generally do make my own rigs. If you're going to buy them from this shop, I usually find that they cost between about £1.50 and £3 each, which isn't too bad as long as you're not fishing rough ground. And I do think it's best just to make your own rigs. You're going to lose, lose quite a few. With your weights, uh, I buy between four and six ounce leads and normally cost me between one pound and one pound fifty. It depends where I get them from. Prices on bait is a bit of a difficult one to cover, really, because it, it, it differs wherever you go. Um, I normally find for mackerel, for free mackerel, for free decent sized mackerel, I'd normally pay about three pounds to three pound fifty. A 500 gram box of squid will probably last you two or three sessions, depending on. If you're cutting strips or using hull baits, if you're using hull baits, you might get three, uh, I'd say, yeah, three sessions out of it if you're using hull baits. And if you're cutting it into strips, you'd probably get more. That's going to cost you about four quid for a 500 gram box. The, the other baits like blueies and stuff, like, I don't really use a lot, so I can't really comment on the my main baits, like sort of squid, mackerel, live prawns, if I can get them, anything, anything from the area I'm fishing, worm and stuff like that. I, I can't comment on the price of lug. 
because um, it is different literally wherever you go. But and it's different; they give different size portions too. So that's a bit of a difficult one to cover. But what we'll do now is we'll just go over to the um, wish list. We'll add everything up and see what we've managed to get this for. So we've got the Dawa seat box, the Abu long nose pliers, the Tronics Pro four inch bait knife, the twenty five pound line, an eight thousand surf reel, and a Vasily oxygen combat pro rod. Now this comes to a total of thirty four ninety nine plus ten ninety nine plus five ninety nine. 9.95 and 74.99 so all of that guys comes to a total of 176 pounds and 89p now that gives you 23 odd quid to go to a tackle shop get some weights get some uh, rigs if you want to buy your own and get some bait that is literally enough to get you guys fishing right guys there you go that's how you get started fishing for less than 200 pounds what i want you guys to do if you've enjoyed the content like subscribe and hit that notification bell what i'm going to do for you is leave a link to the wish list down in the description you can go to it Buy the exact same stuff if you want, buy something slightly different. This video is just to prove to you guys you don't need to have a lot of money to get out there and catch those big fish.